Hey, I'm Ben W. I'm seventh grade, 12 years old. My question is, when you're on a computer and you have like a file or a picture opened up and you decided to save it onto like a hard drive, how does it exactly stay on? I'm Jignesh Patel. I'm a professor in computer sciences at the University of Wisconsin. I have here with me a hard disk drive that I just cracked open. That's typically what a disk drive looks like today. So I hope you can see there's a big circular shiny silver disk. Uh, if you ever have played with a CD or a DVD, it sort of looks like that. It's, ex it's a lot smaller than that. Uh, this is coated with a magnetic material and effectively information is stored by magnetizing very, very tiny pieces of the surface and depending on how it's magnetized, if it's pointing north-south versus south uh, to north, you'll record one bit of information. One bit of information will be recording either a zero or a one. You collect a whole bunch of that and you can represent characters. You take a whole bunch of characters, you can represent words, and so on. Uh, the technology for this involves a head, which may be a little hard to see, but this little uh, arm that is coming out over here is the head. It moves over this platter on which you record, and it either records it or reads from that. This little cylinder over here when this disc is uh, plugged in, is going to rotate at a speed of 7200 to 10,000 revolutions per minute. And this head will move back and forth, either recording or reading back from uh, that disc. So basically, think of as lots of tiny magnets as a way to record this information. And you can read those back and that gets your data. So when you get a picture, it's going to get converted into a sequence of zeros and ones. They will get recorded and stored over here. And then when you need to read it back, it's gonna uh, read back those zeros and ones and get you back that picture. There's this newer technology called flash storage that's starting to replace these disk drives. And a big difference with that, this has no mechanical parts. It's a totally different technology. So effectively, um, it has better properties in many respects with res uh, in terms of speed with which you can pull information out from the device, but it's a lot more costly per bit of information to store than the hard disk. But very rapidly, these are starting to replace the hard disk drives in many computing systems. In fact, if you bought a high-end laptop, your storage device in that today is very likely something that's a flash storage device.